Okay, so who's who? Let's give everybody a mic first. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, so introduce yourself. Who is Luke? I'm Luke. You're Luke, and you must be Fernando Noriaga, did I say it right? Yes. And of course, and this is the gorgeous uh, Munchie. And by the way, Munchie is a Singaporean. Yay! Come on. Big bottle of applause. right? Okay, so to start, maybe you could tell us more about the movie, a synopsis, uh, Munchie, about uh, where the road meets the sun. Tell us more about the movie in a gym. Um, the movie is about uh, four men from very different parts of the world. Uh, crossing paths in Los Angeles in a hotel in, in, in Hollywood. Yeah. And, and these four characters, where are they from? Okay, okay. not so good, a bit more. So we have uh, a Mexican, Mexican. Uh, <laughs> an Englishman, an Englishman, and we have a Japanese uh, Yakuza uh, and a, uh, an American New Yorker. So those are four guys. Okay, so the, which character do you play? Luckily, the Englishman. Right. And then tell us more about your character. Uh, his name's Guy. He's a backpacker. He's quite rich. Um, he likes the ladies. He's quite charming. Uh, so, yeah, he's quite fantastic fellow. You must have had a good time saying it. Okay, I've got Fernando. Tell us more about your character. Well, my name's Mexican. Um, he's a very low class guy who just uh, got to a lane uh, in Italy and he's uh, working with a strong desire of being earning money so he can bring in his wife and kids. So until he met a uh, guy who is very uh strong. <laughs> what did you say? You're a uh, very um troubled oh trouble yeah. attractive. Yeah. <laughs> He's a troubled attractive. Yeah. 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 So, um, out of the four characters, both uh, two, uh, two of the guys interact quite a lot. I mean, all four of you intersect your lives. But then both of you have quite a story together as well. Absolutely. How has it been working on the chemistry together? You know what? When we first met, it was quite immediate. We struck up a friendship very, very quickly. Um, and I think it was something that was quite obvious, which uh, Munchie could see. Yeah, um, I was auditioning in Los Angeles, and uh, uh, I met uh, Luke earlier in the process, so he was actually auditioning with different uh, potential students, and uh, Fernando flew in from Mexico, and uh, they did an audition together, and they were pretty clear, the story was very obvious, they, were, they had great chemistry. Okay, Manchi, being Singaporean, I mean, how much of our Singaporean culture, or uh, singaporean as you might put it, did you try to incorporate into this movie? Uh, I guess, what is Singapore? about the movie is my perspective as a Singaporean uh, that uh, doesn't go away. Uh, I did not, you know, I grew up here, I uh, went abroad, but I also worked here for quite a while, so, you know, uh, I'm a Singaporean. Um, the story sort of uh, has a, it's about LA that is very multicultural, coming from a place like Singapore, which is also a that that's something that I think that it, it, it stays with me. The Singaporean experiencing LA and you know, and, uh, uh, looking at it from that perspective. So that's what makes that as well. So look at Fernando, this is the first time in Singapore. Yeah. What's your impression of our uh, little island state so far? Uh, the hotel's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been out of the hotel? No, no. Not that much. I mean, it's very yeah. great. It's great. Well, we just went, we just went for, uh, we just went to, uh, 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 Caldicott. So, between here and Caldicott, you probably saw a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. And, uh, how has it been working with the Singaporean director? Fantastic. Just literally, um, she gave us so much room to develop our characters. And... I think my team is blushing on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. already. Um, yeah. I came in to say on it. Yes, she came in. Very, very well. No, she just gave us so much. It, it was just fantastic because it's, it's so difficult to rehearse and film. It's not like theatre, and she gave us the really the amount of time that we needed in order to spend time with our characters and spend time with each other. In my case, uh, because it's not my first language, English, um, it was very easy, and I think she totally understood how uh, insecure I would be feeling at the moment of, of being uh, uh, getting the sense of uh, playing these characters. So she was very patient with me and uh, she uh, made me feel very confident about uh, being acting in a different language. So that was great, because she's a foreign to me. Okay, so 
we're really looking forward to watching the film. But now let's open up to uh, members of uh, the media on the floor. Any questions for any of our uh, three lovely guests this morning? Maybe I should give a synopsis. Shall I read it out for you guys? Okay. When the road meets the sun, <laughs> it's a movie about four men, two of them are here. Um, they intersect for a brief time in the city of L.A. Now, Takashi is a Japanese hitman, like, uh, like he said, a Yakuza. He's not here today. Um, he wakes up from a four-year coma and he moves to L.A. to escape mysterious traumatic memories. Then he strikes an unusual friendship with Blake, um, who is the hotel manager who is mourning the loss of his wife um, because he was a very naughty boy. He keeps his, you know, hearts in his pants. Um, and then the Julio, who of course played by Fernando, he's an illegal immigrant. He works at an Indian restaurant to provide for his wife and kids back home in Mexico. He prevents Guy, who is here of course, um, who is a young British backpacker who lives off his estranged father's ATM card. That's our dream come true. I know. I wish I had one of those ATM cards. And he speaks with any girl who crosses his path. Um, so the film intersects between the blossoming of, of these two friendships, and that's what the movie is all about. Any questions? Yes. yes. Yes, ma'am. Can I have a microphone? Or, okay, if, if you guys can hear me, that's fine. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Good point. I was wondering whether it's a short movie or is it a long feature movie? And how long did it take to prepare to make the actual movie for the entire cast and crew? And the actual shooting process? Uh, it's a feature length, it's 93 minutes. Okay. Um, uh, we shot it in four weeks. Uh, um, that's the principal photography, and then we also um, had some second unit and a scene shot in, in uh, Tijuana um, after the principal photography. We also shot some second unit in Tokyo, and we also shot some second unit in New York uh, before the principal photography. Any other questions? Hi, yes. I'm from Street Time. I know that the show has won a few awards in the Indian Film Festival. So, did you expect yourself to win these awards, and how do you feel about it? Because one of the awards is Best Director Award. Uh, I think Mikey deserves a big round of applause for that. Yay! Yeah. Uh, yeah. hey, represent. Thank you. Um, we were happy with the film. We weren't expecting awards. You know, you never go out there expecting to win awards. Um, it's always good to have them, especially if it is an indie film. We have some names, but you know they're not the the giant names, and it's, it is a, 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 a relatively low budget film compared to Hollywood films that you know inter that are internationally known. So the awards would help us uh, get it out there. Uh, I think that I I I, I am very happy with it, uh, that that has happened. Um, yeah, it's not something that we could plan for. Okay. And then for the two actors, because in the show you played a um, rather troubled role, so um, how similar do you think you are in real life to the role? Or not at all? <laughs> well, first, I don't know what I was going to ask you. Um, I, I knew a fellow in London who was very similar to Guy, so I based the character very, very much on my friend. Not you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question. It's a friend of a friend. Yeah, it's a friend of a friend. I, I mean, you know, obviously we all have moments like our characters. They all suffer from universal things. So there were elements of my personality, definitely. Absolutely. In my case, I guess I am not a similar. But I, when I first read the script, I totally get very... Um, identified with Julio in the way that he was uh, leaving behind everything in his life to get a, a new dream for him and his family. Even though I, I, I'm not married and I don't have a kid, but I think uh, that was quite shocking like, uh, to start working out of my country in a different language, and which was the case uh, uh, that Julio was experiencing in that moment. Thank you. Anybody else? I think I saw some hands with that. Yes, sir. Um, where does the idea for the story come from? And what are the main challenges in making this film? Um, the idea, uh, I, 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 it was uh, a, a while back, I mean, 
uh, the idea came from living in Los Angeles. Um, since 9-11, uh, uh, as a foreigner living in LA, we could feel the change. Uh, that in general, uh, people, uh, people are sort of not as uh, open to people different from themselves. And uh, it, it was a very sad change for me as a foreigner. And then what happened was, uh, you know, the uh, the Brazilian electrician in London got shot down um, because he was mistaken as, uh, for terrorist. And so I really felt the need to uh, do, do a, write something that uh, that has to do with that. And I I, I was wondering uh, at the time, you know, how his life would have been like before he was uh, shot dead. You know, so that was the start. But the film actually is not just about that. It, it's, it's, it's you know, about young, two young kids, you know, going to, what, the two of them, that they go to uh, LA, seek, one seeking a dream and the other figuring out what his dream is. And um, uh, so that sort of uh, is one part of it. And then there are the two older characters who are kind of suspended in, in, in time, you know, uh, wondering uh, what, sort of having that regret. Um, it, it, it's really, uh, more story about life than that specific incident in the end as it gets developed. Yes, sir, the back in the 1920s. Uh, 